Hey, welcome back. Nibbling tea again. Um, here's the first Harry Potter book. And today I got in the mail the 25th anniversary of Harry Potter. I've just blacked all out because that's my private info. I totally forgot that and um, bought this. Um, I said I bought it on the 9th, not the 6th of January, the 2022. I totally forgot I ordered it because I was, I was going to order it last week. Well, I ordered it last week, but I cancelled my order because I didn't want to buy it. I was like, oh, I don't know if I should have it because I don't know if it's just going to be the same as that one. Or it's going to be a copy of the first edition with the, um, what was it? Let me have a, let me, a quick one. Um, where is it? It said what? Oh, was it page 53? I know I'm a sweet bit for everyone. Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to have a second one underneath it. I'm just wondering if it's going to be the same. Because if it is, that, that, that would be a reason to buy it, not just for the cover. Because you can, I'd look online, you can still buy the first, well, the first printed, like, like what it looks like on there, for like £45, which is like $55 or something like that. So yeah, let's get this open. Where's my knife, just in case. Oh, let me, that's stuck. Oh, it's stuck all the way around. Let's see if I can get it about, get my information in it. Let me have a quick look at this. Yeah, so I paid £15.29 for this. I think it was £18 including shipping. So it's actually quite pricey for a first edition book. I'm just... Not first edition, but for a book. Uh, actually, it's around about the same. What was it? 14? Or was it 15? 15. So it's like an extra pound, basically. Pound and some change, but then obviously, if you probably get it from a shop, Maybe a bit cheaper, but I don't know if they sell them in shops. That's why I got mine online. Well, I forgot I ordered it. But anyway, let's do this. First time I've ever seen this type of cover in person. I have watched videos about the first editions from the pot collector. But it's the first time I've actually seen this cover in person. Actually, before I do that, I'll just show you which ones I've got. Because I found these ones. I got Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Uh, what can I found these in our alley? Someone's thrown them out. I was like, oh, I'll have them. Um, yeah, it says first edition at the bottom. I don't know if they're actually first edition. I'll have to do some more research on that one. And then I got the Goblet of Fire paperback instead of hard book. Um, Now this isn't first edition. I found them too anyway, so they're the only ones I've had from like that type of styling. I think let's get into this. I hope they do 25th anniversaries for each one, because I'll buy each one for the good. Ooh, look at that. It's exclusive content. Oh, I didn't know there was exclusive content in it. It's Dumbledore. It was the Illuminator. Celebrating 25 years of Harry Potter magic. Well, I guess that's different. Let's have a see what it looks like about the paperback. I don't want to crack it yet. Oh, actually, as as a without the sticker on. Ah, it's still got the 25 years. Uh, Bad. And on here, if you want to buy from the shop, 
It's 17 pound it says. So I guess it was cheaper to get it online. Let's see if we can either um, spy and crack. No. Let's see if they were. Oh, there we go. Let's see. It's supposed to be the exclusive content. It's got all the books in here, so that's different from obviously from the first one. It's got all the lists, like the companion volumes, like the Hogwarts Library and all that stuff, and then the illustrated editions, which is only up to Goblet of Fire. John of Peas. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, what's that? Early John of Hagrid with Harry Potter, Dumbledore and Professor Gonagall and Privet Drive. Hmm, I haven't seen that either. The book that changed my life. So this is actually actual... Oh! John the Opening... Diagon Alley by J.K. in 1990. This is what she drew. It's up one. Tap. Twirls. Begins to open. Even more open. And then goes into an arch. If anyone wants to read that. Then it goes straight into the chapters. Anyway, let's see if I can find the... See if it's an actual first edition type style. It feels like this. Obviously, I've gone too far. No, so it's not a proper one, um, first edition. So if you're buying it, so it's like with the same spelling mistakes, because I know there's some spelling mistakes that she put in. So, if you don't want it for that, don't have to get it. It's just the same as that one, but obviously with some extra content. Let's see if there's anything through here. See if there's any drawings in the middle. Nope, let's go straight to the back. Oh, there's some actual content in here. Like there's some some fan mail if you want to read it. That's pretty cool. <coughs> Sorry for that. And there's some more. And that was the first adult edition. It's the steam engine on it. And the map of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and its grounds including the Forbidden Forest, Hogsmeade, illustrated by Levy Pinfold. That looks incredibly good, nice compared to, let me just put that there so I don't lose it. I know there was one in here. I'm sure there was a... There we go. This one, the two page spread, doesn't look as, it looks somewhat good, but not as detailed as. Let me put the knife back on that one. Does that one look? This is more like on paper. I think the other one was made on a computer. See, you look, not the centaur type thing at the top. There's the squid. What is that? Is that an elephant? Not a mermaid. Train station. Oh, there's a boat for the first years. Hmm. Let's see what's next. John Harry Potter. Oh, if anyone wants to read it. And pause. Now this is what 
I think it's when, I can't remember if there was a pot collector, which I remember this from. This is how Dumbledore was supposed to look. Oh no, it's not Dumbledore. Something that would happen in the books. Also, it was the person's father who he drew, and then replaced it with Albus. I think I remember that. What? The first... First professional commission after leaving art school was cover of Harry Potter. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, let's get that hair out there. And there's just a train. If you see there, there's a faint train there. Is it on the other side? No. Is that just a... Yeah, it looks like it was the ink wasn't dry yet. Oh, well, that's all the exclusive in it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'd say it's worth it if you want to get it a couple pound. Well, it was actually more expensive because of shipping. I don't know if this is any different because I haven't seen the inside sleeves. So someone could tell me. Oh, I think that one's different because it's got N2007 on it. If I want to read it, can pause it. Oh, that's good. Actually, I haven't checked the printing page, have I? No one tells us what. No, it just says this edition 2022. It doesn't actually say what edition this is. It would be a, um, it would be cool if it was a first edition of a 25 25th anniversary. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you whenever I make another video. Peace.